slow. Sign a release form for violation of privacy. Court ordered violation. on bed rest today because I got struck by a car well, I thought according to the note you presented today was the day you could go back to work. Okay, maybe it isn't. Go ahead. Keep going. This is the release oh. form for Dr. Boyd for, of Charleston, Illinois. I need you to sign it and date it down here. Um, that gives him permission to send the report so that we may file it with the pre-sentence investigation when it's completed. Okay. And I can show you the docket entry if you'd like to see it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Just to make sure it's not HR and... It is not. Court orders the preparation mm -hmm. of a pre-sentence investigation report, including a yeah. psychological evaluation. Last time we went through probation, I used the VA to circumvent the HR process because the HR in town is building... They actually build monuments up here on the courthouse lawn with all the money they steal from the people that trick in here. So I decided to go to the VA instead. The HRC builds monuments? Is that what you said? Yeah. The, the, the fourth size spot, the HRC building here in Marshall. Uh, he just rents the building to them. He doesn't have anything to there do with it other than owning the building so they didn't Making have money to... off of the HRC. Anyway, the reason why I have to go to a psychological evaluation now is because the last time I was up here I used that scam to circumvent uh, the judge and he's probably just doing this to get even with me from the last time. I don't have any information on that. Is he going to call me and let me know that uh, is he going to call me and, and Dr. Boyd? Yeah. No, you'll come up the plan is that you will come up here and we will as soon as he's free contact him and he'll set an appointment. So you'll be in So we're going to get all the, the courthouse involved in the gossip then, the same way you guys did yesterday Not after the court. Unless you share information, no. Okay. Well, the judge certainly shared information yesterday when I caught him in the circuit clerk's office gossiping about the case after, after the trial was over. So, yeah, I came back yesterday. I forgot my I forgot my coffee cup and came back up here yesterday. Okay. And I caught Judge Retch in the circuit clerk's office joking. And then I go upstairs. Dustin Minster came back after court and went to the district attorney's office and was demanding jail time immediately after the case was over. So he got to come in here and, and go to the, the district attorney's office and gossip and slander after after trial today. I didn't either. Well, of course I did, but I'm just saying. Well, what I'm saying is I don't know any of that. That's the problem. I've, I've got eight years of YouTube videos. And the, and the trial yesterday was to trick me in here on someone else's video just to prove to me that they're not going to accept any of my video evidence. And they're going to take whoever steps up instead simply because I pissed off the people that work here. And that's all it is. Thank you.